Hello everyone, it is your favorite kind of punch, Mr. Falcon Punch 996, the underrated king, the recommendation master, and of course YouTube's number one Doro Hidoro fan man, back to bring you guys another addition to my What the Fuck series. Now Clamp, if you don't know, are an all-female mangaka group responsible for such series such as XX Holic, or Holic, not really sure how you're supposed to pronounce the X's in that series, Tubasa Chronicles, as well as the designs for the Code Geass anime series. However, earlier in Clamp's career, they were known for making doujin, or fan comics for you noobs out there, which helped fuel yaoi in today's manga industry. But today I'm looking at probably one of their most infamous doujin, being Clamp in Wonderland 1994 Summer which centers around Joja's Bizarre Adventure Part 3. The manly series, this doujin manages to make even more bizarre. Oh god, where do I begin with this thing? Well, let's start with the cover, because what the hell is up with this additional cast? I mean, I mean here you have the cast of Part 3 by Shonafine, which is fine. However, then there's also Giant Robo, one of the robots from the Black Magic OVA, Cutie Honey, not sure who this is, and for some reason, Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Like, why are they even in this cover? Because this doujin has nothing to do with any of them. But disregarding that, let's really dive into this thing. This doujin starts off after the events of Part 3, but for some reason, the whole cast is there. And well, if you read the original manga, you sadly know that not everyone here makes it to the end. And right off the bat, the weird shit is already in your face as Kakyoin announces he laid an egg. Now if that wasn't just a pure blast of what the fuck, it only gets crazier as it is revealed that somehow, some way, fucking Jotaro is the father and the egg is a so-called proof of their love for each other. Not making this shit up, this is what legit is happening in this series. I mean this shit is so fucking crazy, even Jotaro has no idea what the fuck is going on. But really, what the fuck is going on? How the hell did Kakyoin even lay a fucking egg? I mean, ugh. What did Kakyoin and Jotaro do to even get an egg? Ugh. Now if that wasn't strange enough, everyone besides Jotaro for some weird reason is very accepting of this egg. Hell, Joseph who you'd expect to be all like... Oh, no! Or... Oh, God! Or even... Oh, is just really happy to have a grandson. Then the egg, which somehow got a lot bigger than before, hatches and reveals the newborn love child of Jotaro and Kakyoin, which they decide to name Jota. However, right off the bat, Jota and Jotaro don't seem to get along that well, and that's maybe because Jotaro was probably expecting a daughter or something. Wink wink nudge nudge. However, if somehow being hatched out of an egg from Kakyoin wasn't bizarre enough, it seems Jota rapidly ages and by the time he's 10, he already looks like Jotaro. Not only that, he has a stand named Charmy Green, which was lazily named after a soap thanks to Jotaro, which has the abilities of both Star Planum and Hierophant Green. And after Josuke meets Jota, the doujin just ends. While it wasn't anything too long or anything, this short little doujin is just so full of what the fuck, I honestly don't know what else to say. I mean, its weirdness pretty much speaks in volumes for itself. And now it's time to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I am Mr. Falcon Punch 996. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.